Cruise 3, for the love of racing. Cruise Ramirez and Lightning McQueen sprinted around Willie's Butte. Cruz used to be a top-notch trainer of next-gen race cars. But now, she was a racer and Lightning was her crew chief. They were back in Radiator Springs getting ready for her her next big event. Cruz pushed herself hard, but she got frustrated over silly mistakes. Ah! My tires are sliding! She cried. Relax, Cruz, said Lightning. You're doing fine! Lightning believed in Cruz. He knew she had all the skills to be a great racer. But she was having trouble believing herself. Trust! You're the best! And let your tires do the rest! Lightning told her. Cruz wanted to believe that. But deep down, she still wondered if she could be the best. These small mistakes were taking a big toll. She knew she could drive better than this. As Lightning watched Cruz do laps, he could see that she was preoccupied and overcorrecting for every little slip. Finally, Cruz pulled over. Why are you so tense and upset? Lightning asked. Oh, oh, I, I have to be perfect, she said. I have to prove to everyone that my, that my winning at the Florida 500 wasn't just beginner's luck. Oh. Pushing yourself this hard isn't the answer, he said. Come on, let's get some rest. Later, Lightning met up with Sally and Motter at Flo's. How's the, the crew chief going? Asked Motter. Uh... Tougher than I thought. Lighting replied. Cruz is racing to prove something to the world. I think she's holding her back. It sounds like she dumped her abilities. Said Sally. Ha! That was never your problem, Lighton. Motter said. In fact, you thought you could win yourself. Till, uh, Doc set you straight. That's it! Lighting shouted. Mater, you're the best. Early the next morning, Sally drove with Lightning to Willie's Butte. The two watched Cruz do lap after lap. Lightning could see that she was still pushing herself too hard just like the day before. Eventually, Cruz pulled over and approached her friends. I don't know what's wrong, she admitted. Uh, it seems to me you've hit a wall. And not... Uh, at, uh, at a track. Not the kind at a track, said Lightning. No amount of practice laps will get you through this. In fact, overthinking can, it can make things worse. Follow us. We want to show you something. Lightning and Sally led Cruz to the Hudson Hornet Racing Museum, which showcased mementos, posters, photos, articles, and film reels about the legendary racer. When Doc was in his prime, no one could touch him. Lightning said. He won three Heiston Cups. Added Sally. Cruz looked at the trophies in awe. Doc loved what he did, but to him, these were just a bunch of empty cups. Explained Lightning. Nice to have, but not really important. Doc helped me see... That racing isn't just about winning. Lightning continued. It's about teamwork, sportmanship, and enjoying the thrill of doing something you love. I've been so focused on my mistakes, I almost forgot how much I loved uh, to race. Cruz said with a smile. Why don't we go? Why don't we all go for a drive? Sally suggested. Sally led Lightning and Cruz on a beautiful ride through the mountains of Carburetor Country. It was the same route she'd shown Lightning years before. It's nice to get out here and have some space to breathe, isn't it? Sally mused. Somewhere along the way, something shifted in Cruz. Lightning and Sally watched confidently and skillfully as she maneuvered through the twist on the Whitney Road. You're taking those turns like a champ. Lightning told Cruz. I'm not, I'm not thinking about technique, she said. And it's pretty, uh, 
and it's uh, pretty great, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's all about trusting your instincts. Lightning replied. By the time the friend returned to town, Cruz was happy and stress-free. It was clear her confidence are growling. This was a good day, Cruz, said Lightning. Go get some rest, and we'll resume training tomorrow. The next morning, Cruz woke up and found a note on her alarm clock. It read, meet it flows. When she arrived, Cruz was surprised to see that the whole Radiator Spring gang was there. We want you to know that you're part of the Radiator Springs family, said Lightning. We're, we're all behind you, honey, said Flo. Well, shoot, Modder added. Of course we are. Me and Sheriff are even close to strength of all, uh, of all highway. You can practice somewhere, somewhere, um, somewhere new. Cruz was touched. But she didn't want to dart off to practice just yet, so she enjoyed a quart of oil with the gang of flows. They joined Luigi and Guido at Luigi's Casa della Tires. I think it's time for a new set of light years, Cruz said. Guido quickly put the new tires on Cruz. They looked great, and she'd never felt better. Out on the highway, Cruz smiled at the open road ahead of her. Come on, Mr. McQueen, she said. Let's race. Lightning and Cruz raced down the highway, fender to fender. As they approached a curve, Lightning called out. Uh, trust your best, and let my tires do the rest, shouted Cruz as she whipped through the turn at top speed. They came to a stop and looked back to see the gang cheering. You've got what it takes, said Lightning. I sure do said Cruz. I have the skills, a crew chief, uh, who, be uh, who believes, who believes in me. And friends who won't let me forget how much I love racing. Lightning smiled. Spoken like a true race car. The end.